Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha City Centre. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's second time around in the group stage for these two teams. It's Argentina versus Mexico. Well, thanks, Derek. This won't be easy, but a win here, and they will be through to the knockout stages. If they perform at their best, I think they will get the three points that they need. The Argentina first team. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players, stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Here's how Mexico will begin the game. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Oh, a smart stop. Fired over by Messi. Fractionally over the top. Molina. Lionel Messi. Messi! Here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. going to end up being productive for them opportunity oh denied by the woodwork well it's almost the perfect finish but in the end it's not quite good enough Jimenez Keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Can they create something from here? Takes the shot. Well, the shot more than decent. Fired over by Messi. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Alvarez and Messi's incisive pass chance to finish in it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all well let's look at this again and the keeper just lost his bearings there he was never in the right position. He won't want to see that again. Useful looking ball. And running in behind. 
And the final whistle is sounded, and it's good news all round for Argentina because, as expected, they will progress to the round of 16, Stuart. And I think it's good news for the World Cup because they do look a very good side. They play some great attacking football, and I think everybody's looking forward to seeing them in that last 16 game. Well, the shining light for his side this evening, no doubt about it, Paulo Dybala. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.